Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to the channel guys and this is going to be your daily tarot reading April 20, 2018 and that is a general tarot reading for the collective. So four cards spread, the first one shows up on um, <clears throat> the topic of the day that is going to be the ten of, uh, of wands, let me put it like this, alright? So the second card shows up what we should avoid doing during that day that will be the lover's card. The third card does expresses um, what we should aim to do during that day. This is the Four of Pentacles. And the last one is showing uh, what will be the positive end in case we um, kind of like keep the conditions over here with these couple of cards in the long run. And that will be the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so first things first. <clears throat> let's take a look at the general theme of the day. That will be the Ten of Wands, guys. Now, this is a, a extremely um, potent card when it comes especially for your career. Now, this card shows that at that day, which is Friday, you are going to uh, have the eager to take on the responsibilities in a drive for power or for a position in that particular case uh, because um, you will see an opportunity which is an awesome opportunity by the way to uh, <clears throat> exert stability if I may say it that way or to prove yourself very capable of doing something that your bosses are feeling um, um, or seeing being substantial. Now <clears throat> This card, however, that is pointed, if you go down that road, uh, soon you're going to find yourself in a position where you have to satisfy the needs of others and as well that you need to follow a very strict code of conduit that is going to constrain you in many ways. That's why we do have the lover's card here for that way, what we should constrain ourselves doing. And this is uh, taking on a, a definitive, giving on a, a definitive answer or taking on a definitive um definitive decision of that should you take on all these additional responsibilities or should you not take on additional responsibilities that day. In its core, the Ten of Wands uh, is uh, a sign of overburdening, so it is very important here in that day to know your limits, to know your limitations and capabilities. I'm not saying in any way, guys, that you are not capable, but um, <clears throat> probably you do have more ways to uh, than these ways that are presented to you to be more lucrative and successful through the capabilities you otherwise would throw into a um, activities and responsibilities which will you usually wouldn't do. So this comes to the third card here which is the Four of Pentacles and what we should do, okay? Needless to say that that card points guys that we uh, need to place ourselves into a very comfortable position but as well the card points, okay, as with a conjunction with the Ten of Wands that we need to first capitalize on our current responsibilities before we take on additional responsibilities because the Ten of Wands is about taking on additional responsibilities therefore feeling very overburdened and like we have basically uh, overestimated ourselves <clears throat> especially time-wise you know that we are going to be able to meet certain criteria. We will but maybe the time is uh, very short in terms. Not to mention that the Four of Pentacles is also about taking on a, a def defensive uh, a position, okay? Defensive position especially for um, activities coming in your way that uh, people are trying to bruise upon you, you know, for example, your boss comes up and say, you definitely have to take this one and get the job done. Um, you are not really obliged to do it, so if you care to explain how much you currently have on your plate, okay, this is about taking on a defensive position and explaining as well that that will cause trouble if you get one more responsibility upon your shoulders. Of course, those who want to prove themselves will take okay sure no problem but they are will have to probably work extra time and they will be highly stressed 
with uh, the situation because the drive for power here, the uh, tenacity for one showing themselves capable to, to deal with everything thrown into their way, uh, not that they will not be able to do so, but they also have to deal with the negative perks of that, like, uh, as I said, stress, tension, uh, <clears throat> hectic wavering as well, etc, etc. And... Um, the bottom line here is is that what you need to do during that day guys is to capitalize on your current responsibilities before you actually decide what is going to be good here for you because these couple of cards are speaking that what looks awesome opportunity all right it may not be as awesome as you think it is because in a long run card especially conjuncting with the lover's card shows that there will be a new circumstances new informations coming in your way putting more light upon these tasks and responsibilities brought to you that particular day and this is the long distance car okay so you may realize or may re understand that in next week or the week after etc etc <clears throat> and uh, that being said you will be so thankful that you actually be able to keep yourself away from so seemingly um as I said, awesome opportunity, but uh, so seemingly way to prove yourself and way to advance forward because this isn't really a way to advance forward. It is a, a way of you uh, advancing forward over burn, all right? Otherwise, you can do it with such a little effort <clears throat> uh, compared to what you're go to what effort you need to throw if you go in, uh, if you go in, in invest in it, excuse me, during that particular day. Now, <clears throat> this pretty much covers up the general aspect and in uh, relationship aspect, these cards are pointing that um, <clears throat> you should be more gentle with, um, with your partner in case you do have one. Because the Ten of Wands and the Lover's card as a negative card does points that one will be way too... Uh, I, I don't want to say demanding, okay, but one will be way too strict for the rules into the relationship. And instead of being strict about the rules, you need to try to place the relationship into a comfortable position in a sense that if you can uh, do a small compromises regarding the rules of the relationship, you definitely have to, guys, because you need to put the relationship in a state of a state, okay? In a <clears throat> as I said, comfortable position, but as well, state of a state, what I mean is that, uh, you know, you need to def de define the relationship itself, okay, and show that you are not ignorant to your partner's, to your partner's needs, and as well to show that, um, you know, you do care for them as well, and that counts for someone that you uh, want to be your partner, and then you are going to realize that there is something also substantial for the relationship you haven't paid attention until now and in general could be something as well that will save your current relationship on top of that when the shits really hit the fan so <clears throat> with that being said guys this was your daily tarot reading for the collective april 20th of 2018 i hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know will be listed down there in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time bye